Hi guys, it's Kim from Unpolished Gardens, and today we're going to be planting up some fall containers. We're going to get some mums in a little while, but I just wanted something that had a little bit of the fall colors that was a little bit different. Um, it's still really hot here, which will give them time to grow and fill in, and they should look really good before the weather changes and they slow down, a butterfly, before they slow down and, and don't grow so fast. So let's go over all these plants and let's get them planted. And this is the first plant that we're going to be planting. It is a coleus. It's an annual. It grows 10 to 16 inches tall. It has very beautiful foliage. Like this is going to just stand out. Um, and it's probably, we're going to have it on the side where it's going to be drooping over. And it should grow, I mean most of it is going to grow upright, but some of these are still going to weep down. And I think it's just going to look really pretty like that. And the next one we have is the Coneflower Sombrero. It's an Echinacea hybrid. It grows 22 to 24 inches tall. It's drought tolerant. It blooms in early to late summer. It attracts bees and butterflies. And it's just a really pretty yellow buttery color. And it looks really, really, really good with the coleus here. I think that's gonna look really pretty together. And the next one we have is the Marigold. And it's a mounding plant. It grows 10 to 12 inches tall. It is deer resistant. And they're just, I just think all these three of these are just so pretty together. Yeah. Oh, that's gonna It has upright blooms. They're very large blooms. It grows 12 inches tall. And it kind of looks like fireworks. I think it's gonna be really interesting in this container. I can't wait to see it get taller. Alright, we have the Vigaro, the all-purpose potting mix. It's great for inside and outside containers. Let's get this filled up and start planting all these flowers. And I'm not putting any um, rocks or anything at the bottom for soil. They've got a really good drainage hole. We're just going to be putting it in the terracotta pots. Um, it's going to look really pretty, I think. I hope so. We've got this filled up, and if we had to have to add more soil, we can. And next, we're going to add Espoma Organic Plant Tone, just to give them a little bit of boost while they're growing. They'll be growing for a little while, while it's still hot, until they slow down when it gets cold. So we're just going to throw a little bit of that, mix it up. And now we're going to get planting. And first, we're going to put in the coleus. It looks pretty good. The root system doesn't look really bad. And we're going to have this draping over the sides, so like right about here. And next, we're going to put in the cone flowers. Oh, that's a really good root system. Let's see. We're going to put it back here. It gets, it's the tallest. It grows pretty tall. So we're going to stick it behind it. Oh, this is going to look really pretty. And then we're going to pop in a marigold. And we're just going to pop the marigold right up front. Solution. We're going to pop this right back here. All right. How's that look? Oh, I think it's going to look really pretty. And um, we're just going to go ahead and get the other one planted up. And they're going to be facing the walkway, so they're going to be kind of opposite. So we're going to go ahead and get this next one planted up, and then we'll get them pot, uh, put in their spot, and we'll show you.
Hi, Kitty Kitty. Hi. Hi. Hi, Kitty. Hi, pretty Kitty. Morris. Hi, Kitty. Hi, Kitty. Guys, I think they look so pretty here. They're framing our walkway, which we needed. We have a lot of grass in this area, and we're about to plant this part up. But we needed some color down here, and I think these are going to be perfect. They're going to fill in and just look beautiful. And they're all fall colors, and they all should do really well. And the echinacea, where we'll pop out before it gets too cold and get them in the ground before the frost. And, oh, I just think they're just going to look so pretty. I hope this has inspired you to get out and plant some fall colors, even though it's hot outside. Just give them time to grow and fill in so they're going to look beautiful all fall. And if you like this video, don't forget to subscribe, hit that like button and the notification button. And until next time, bye guys.